What's up, my name's Technumber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to use the Anime Matrix LED display on the brand new Asus ROG Strix Flare 2 Animate Keyboard. Thank you to Asus for lending out this unit to me. First of all, head across to Google and search for Armory Trade. When you get to the Asus ROG website, linked down below as well, simply look for the download button at the very top. When you get to the download page, simply choose your OS and then click download. Open up the zip and run the installer. I'll choose install Armory Crate and or Creator, then click start. When it installs, click launch Armory Crate. After Armory Crate opens up, click the keyboard icon and then choose Anime Matrix. If you see a tutorial, you can click next and read a bit about it. On top of it, there's simple steps for importing images, zooming, playing animations, saving your work, applying current effects, and some more help if you need it. From here, we can customize the keyboard. If you choose your keyboard first and then choose the Anime Matrix tab, we can only choose from our current saved effects. The Anime Matrix tab, however, lets us create effects. So we can choose from one of the pre-made effects and double clicking on it should give us a preview here, where we can then apply the effect and it'll get pushed to our keyboard. Super simple. Of course, there's quite a few to scroll through here, and at the very top, we have the ability to download more off of the Anime Matrix content platform. I would assume that when you make content, you can upload it here too. If you'd like, you can add empty slots and double click on a different animation to chain them together. If I apply the effect, you'll see that the first animation plays through and it'll move on to the second. Super simple. Let's clear this out for now and add ourselves an image. Importing my Techno logo, we can reposition it, scale the image up and down to better fit the display and put it in place. Though I should probably pick something with a dark black background. There we go. This one's a lot better. With a bit of repositioning, you can get it to look how you want it to. I can apply the effect and it's immediately showing on my keyboard. Of course, the resolution of a matrix display is rather low, so make sure that your content works well at low resolutions. Bringing in a second image over here, I'll put my channel logo here. So I'll apply the effect, raise the number of loops, change the speed, and now things are cycling through a lot slower. Of course, you can put practically whatever you want here, as long as it's black and white and works well at low resolutions. Images aren't the only thing you can import. If I click the insert image button, I can import most major image types as well as GIFs. So I'm selecting my intro over here, for example, removing the other images here and positioning it a bit better. The text is a bit too small to be represented well, but if I place it somewhere in the middle here, you should see what it looks like on the keyboard. The text is far too small to be read, but of course you can see my logo there. Speaking of text, if I remove this and shrink the content library, we also have the text effects section over here. If I turn this on and simply type in something, then click apply, you'll see the text flies in from the bottom right with this current effect. We can change the speed, change the font, font size, etc., etc. If I choose a different font and enter some text, you'll see that it works pretty well. On top of this, if we expand animation settings, you can change the contrast, brightness, and delay. However, if I choose a custom font, apply the effect, currently this doesn't seem to be supported. If we click at the very top and change it from animation mode to system mode, we can choose what notifications we'd like to show on the anime matrix. As an example, you could enable Mail, which works with Outlook and Microsoft Mail, but for now, I'll enable Clock. Apply effect, and you can see the current time at the top. If we head across to Audio Mode instead of System Mode, we can enable the Visualizer, choose the Spectrum, which we'll see in just a moment, and change the Effect Multiplier. Basically, this will use your default audio output, and if your music's too quiet to be picked up, you can turn up the Effect Multiplier here. Applying the effect, and turning up the music I'm listening to, you should see something happening. And choosing a song with more treble instead of just bass, you can see things happening. Spectrum 0, Spectrum 1, where of course the multiplier is a bit too high, Spectrum 2, Spectrum 3, and Spectrum 4. Awesome. If you click Go to Device Settings over here, you'll be taken across to the Keyboard option over here on the side menu. The Anime Matrix tab lets you pick between your saved effects in your content library, change some basic lighting settings, and that's really about it. The advanced section is in here, edit effect or keyboard anime matrix. Besides that, this keyboard does have aura sync and a pretty good sound. Thanks once again to Asus for lending me this keyboard. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.